President Macron was kicked out of Africa. Very embarrassing and surely frustrating for him. So he's so angry and he's blaming it all on Russia and the Wagner Group. France is not wanted in many countries in Africa, and I guess their Midas touch has turned to dust. I also suppose what's left is for Macron to be kicked out of France. Macron had an argument with the Democratic Republic of Congo president while he was on a visit to the nation. The argument took place when Congo president reminded his French counterpart about his country's involvement in the 1994 genocide. However, Macron bluntly rejected the blame attributed to France. So President Emmanuel Macron now says the era of French interference in Africa was over. The president was on a four-nation tour of the continent to renew freight ties. The anti-French sentiment still runs high in some former African colonies as the continent becomes a renewed diplomatic battleground with Russia and the Chinese influence growing in the region. And this is the president's 18th trip to the continent. But the discontent in Africa against how the world powers have treated Africans is still rife. So was Macron's visit to Africa a way to strengthen diplomatic relationships or to defend economic interests? Well, let's talk about this. Mali, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic. The latest word now is that even Niger, which has been one of the reliable French allies, is now starting to have doubts. Doubts about the rule of the French in their countries. The fact is, the French have long overstayed their welcome in all these West African countries. They basically run the financial systems of these countries ever since they grounded these countries into plan. The shadow empire that they created in Africa is disintegrating all around them, and they don't know what to do. Blinken was in Africa. The British hosted a Commonwealth meeting in Africa. The Chinese and the Russians are also in Africa. Now, interestingly, South Africa now has naval exercises alongside China and Russia, and the Americans are not at all pleased with this. So Sudan is opening a Russian naval base. Djibouti already has a Chinese naval base. Ethiopia, which has basically sorted out its war in Tigray, successfully that is, is also aligning with China and Russia, and so is Eritrea.